Here I have this very simple part in a Libra CAD, and I want to illustrate a simple method of multi-radius fillets. So let's give this a fillet up here. And that's simple enough, right? It defaulted to 0.5, which is a good dimension, but what if I wanted this to have a different radius as we moved over this edge? I can easily do that by edit, and instead of constant radius, I'm going to choose variable radius here. And now I have a start and an end radius. And if I take my end radius and I bump it up to a value of 2, you can see we taper from 0.5 to 2. It is so simple and so elegant, it really doesn't require much explaining beyond that. But look how powerful it is, right? Without the multi-radius option, we would probably have to look at doing some sort of loft to uh, achieve the same results. So if I try this in a practical example, I have a compressor here and you'll notice that I get a lot of surface area that could be not very ideal. As the compressor spins, I have this big flat face here. Perhaps I want small fillets up here and large fillets down here. Well, let me delete the existing fillets that I have. And if I select simply one edge, we'll change this to variable radius. And let's have the start radius be 0.025, right? Something small. And it looks like it went small on the other side of this. So let's flip these. Now we have a very large fill, very large fillet where we end here, and a very small one that minimizes the area up here. And then we can add, you know, other fillets or something else if we wish to smooth it even further. But that is kind of a practical example of where we would want to use a multi-radius fillet. And look how powerful a Libra is for being able to do that. So hopefully this is helpful. If it is, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.